Hello everyone, this is Noodle, and yes, this is correct. I got a Titanfall beta pass. I said yesterday in the video I made, God willing I will get one, and guess what? I got a beta pass, and right here, I'm going to show you the pilot simulator. This is kind of a training program that I, I recommend you go through, because it, it's pretty good in that it teaches you all the little things that are in Titanfall that... You may not know. Sprint you know, this first stuff tunnel. here is pretty basic. Sprint. Walk. You're coming up here. I'm going to jump over this. There's a couple things in Titanfall that you don't quite know. Jump so I'm going to run through this whole thing with you. For greater distance. Here jump we got jump while sprinting. sprinting. Basically, that's just holding shift and space. That's pretty jump basic for, the edge for of a surface any first-person shooter. Nicely but done. maybe some people might not know that. And it basically takes you through all these scenarios that you're going to come into contact with or come in to experience with Titanfall and this is pretty cool is you can wall run I wasn't sure how to do this walls. I wall watched the beta but I wasn't exactly sure those little marks on the wall there aren't actually doing anything you can wall run on any wall, wall can in the game to it's pretty farther. neat I guess this is the future so you can wall run in the future when you have these Titan suits on I guess you're not wearing a Titan suit actually well though until you get in your Titan, but I'm not sure in the future we'll be wearing some kind of free combat suit that'll make us all into cyborgs. Use sprinting, jumping, and wall running to make your way to the exit. See here, just kind of free running around here. Wall running, you can jump up pretty much any spot. And it's this pretty neat feature in this game. It really does make this game fun. Now this is a really neat feature of Titanfall. I didn't know how to do this at first, but this little double jump here, I wasn't sure how the rocket motors work, because when you watch the trailer, you see the guys were kind of rocketing. I like. I don't know if that recharges, but it pretty much does it all the time. It's really neat, Double jump and, and it pretty much the makes the game proceed. like you imagine that you play other first-person shooters. When you're like running around and you're like jumping and stuff, you feel like you're doing what you're actually doing in Titanfall. I've played a couple rounds of this in multiplayer, and I I left with a smile on my face. I will admit. The very little amount I've played the game at this point, I have left with a smile on my face. So you know what? That is, that's a positive. I mean, I've not, I haven't been able to say after one or two rounds of any video game lately, I've had a smile on my face because normally you're like learning and, I mean, I didn't exactly tear it up, but I did pretty good for a couple of rounds. I'll be uploading those in a little bit. And here, just kind of an obstacle course, try to get up to where the exit basically here I'm looking around I think the exit's up top there so try to bounce my way up here mind you this is total noob gameplay I literally just jumped in the game started recording here and uh, figuring it out as I go when you're watching it here for all of you guys who haven't gotten your Excellent Titanfall beta keys pilot. yet they're still coming don't worry you have until Monday the 17th to get them Anyone who hasn't gotten one, I pray you get one, because this is, it's been pretty neat so far. Overall, first impression, this game's pretty good. Cloak and you actually have a cloak. Invisible. It's like it's Harry Potter stuff survival. here. To get past when the you push the Q button, which is what I have it bound as, you kind of go... You go, um, invisible. Which... You're not quite invisible. You still have a little bit of an outline. I've in game. I've seen people with well cloaks, done. and I've actually killed somebody with a cloak Cloaking on. Does not last but forever. like Look a distance, I think you might have an advantage over somebody your remaining cloak time. because they might not be able to see you and/or track you with their weapon. So we'll see how this works out. Really, it's such a early impression. It's hard to get an idea what stuff's overpowered and what stuff is. In close quarters good and what's not bad but kill the cloaking the is kind of different but you still can see get close to the target to melee 
Yes, melee attacks in this game are, they're interesting. You can do them from the front and the rear, and it's, it's violent, yeah. You, uh, you hear that next snap. It's pretty crazy. Please pull your weapon. There's no knifing. It's all neck snapping and kicking in the face. The weapon. And here this we have the pistol. pistol. And this is weapon. the smart pistol. Get close enough to a valid target. I don't know how I feel about this. On. This pistol's Wait an for a aimbot full pistol. Pulling the trigger. I've gotten killed by this Use your smart a couple times in game, and I don't know how well this is gonna work out. This pistol aims itself, which. It's kind of a no-no for first-person shooters, so we'll see how that works. And one thing to remember with this, all your key bindings are all kind of screwed up. Make sure you go through and apply all your key bindings. I've tried to eliminated. I tried to set it up just like I have my Battlefield 4 set up best as possible. Target. But it, it'll take you a little while. This is why I recommend you go through this pilot simulator because it really does help you out, have everything ready. And look, you can kill multiple like people with this thing. It's pretty powerful. I'm not sure if I'm liking the smart pistol. For a overpowered scenario type of thing. Wait until the weapon has acquired all of the possible lock points before pulling the trigger. I guess that sometimes you might have to have a couple shots, but still, that, that pistol has no recoil, and it was pretty easy to lock on. We're gonna see how that works out. Switch to your rifle. Here we get our first experience with a rifle in Titanfall. Here, destroy the carbine. All of the targets in the shooting range. And the first thing I notice is there's pretty much no recoil on these darn things. I guess in the future we're gonna have no recoil rifles. It's gonna be interesting. Throw a grenade into each of the windows. Here we are on the grenade range. And it took me a couple tries here to get the actual throw drop on the grenades. It turns out this guy can throw a grenade like a baseball. I was kind of figuring in for like a little bit of drop because I play Battlefield 4 for you guys who aren't familiar with this channel. And there are well drop done. you kind of have to compensate for. But in Titanfall, this guy's a basic baseball pitcher combat scenario initialized destroy all we are out in the on area. the combat scenario range here in Titanfall your mini map is and this uh, ship here is gonna drop some your fake display. guys out of it and you're gonna get the aimbot Look them with the this pistol dots on your mini map to find all the enemy troops recovered Basically, once they told me I couldn't die, I decided I'm just gonna go around and uh, break some necks. We're gonna go melee crazy in these people here. You don't often get to be the juggernaut, and it's kind of fun. What you got? What you got? Bring it! Bring it! Come on! Come on, I'm gonna snap this guy's neck. Come on, come on, behind him. Oh, complete. that's a sickening sound element. Combat <laughs> little baggage after that too. Hostile Titanfall imminent. So we have a Titanfall dropping in here. Damage or I guess we have a Titanfall style. because Switch it's falling. Anti -titan weapon. Here we are, I have my anti-Titan weapon here. And we got our first Destroy bad boy dropping in. We're gonna, weapon. we're gonna shoot it up. These titans take quite a bit of damage when you're a infantryman to actually kill. It's pretty tough to kill them in real life. You have to have help from another titan. Taking on a titan but we'll see how it is even as you level up, as you learn all the little tricks of this game. The pro Pilots tips, which I will certainly be bringing you guys some Titanfall pro tips combat. like I do in Battlefield 4. It will be pretty interesting. It's like, uh, onto the battlefield. it's like the titan to continue, left me a little gun there. Please initiate Titanfall. So I'm gonna call in my first Titan. Look to the Here we sky go. To watch your Titan fall into battle. That is pretty crazy looking. In this, <laughs> your titan it is funny. Up. You push the embark button, and it's like, get in my tummy! Titans it are sucks you right into it, and it's, it's pretty neat. Firing it's your different. Titan's primary weapon 
is as easy as firing a pilot weapon. Kill the hostiles arriving in drop pods. These poor suckers. Boom! You're dead. It's pretty easy to kill infantry in a Titan while well, actually in some multiplayer gameplay. Let's we'll see how they balance that out. As players get better, how that actually works out. But it's such a new game, it, it's pretty hard to judge how overpowered things are because, ev especially with an absolutely brand new game, like when Battlefield 4 come out, came out, a lot of us knew how to play Battlefield 3 and it wasn't that much of a difference, but when you have a brand new game like this, and absolutely everyone's a new, look at that, wipe out a whole like, squad of guys there. It's pretty hard to judge how things work out because Nobody knows what the heck they're doing. Everyone's just running around like a chicken with their heads cut off. And you can row kill them. Oh yeah. More, some more baggage. Boom, one more. Combat scenario complete. Titans also carry offhand weapons into combat. These weapons can be fired at times when primary weapons are unavailable which enhances your Titan's combat effectiveness. Your Titan has been equipped with the Rocket Salvo. Try firing your Rocket Salvo now. See, I have my Rocket... Ha I just kind of did a basic, like, mock-up of what I thought my key bindings would be. So a lot of my key bindings, I had to go back and change a lot of them because I didn't know what they were for Try or how to use them because I'm a complete now. noob at this game. So, make sure you just go through the simulator and set everything up as you go because it definitely will help you out. I jumped into multiplayer and was pretty in tune after going through this. Prepare for your final combat test. Try to use all of the skills you have learned. Enemy Titan shields temporarily disabled. This bro appears out of nowhere here. We're gonna suck up his bullets here. And just shoot them back at him. Look, that does a ton of damage to him. And I can't die here, so can't really see how much damage he's doing to me, but you definitely need to be moving more when you're actually fighting real titans that are other real players in. Next wave incoming. Be advised. Enemy Titans may now appear with more advanced weapons. Oh snap! We got rockets coming at us. Take that. Rocket you up. Come on, fire some that makes so I can shoot it back at you. Oh, we got one, two, three, yeah. There we go. You really, I can tell you're gonna have to really be tactically Enemy use that, has a shield that little weapon suck there. Damage. Your shield bar wraps above the health bar at the top center of your HUD. If you avoid taking damage for a short time, your shields will recharge. The best pilots will monitor their Titan's shields in combat, taking breaks to recharge as necessary. So this is interesting. Unlike Battlefield 4, where you can run the engineer kit and get out and repair your vehicle, your Titan gets down on health and it's game over. You your can't Titan's get out and repair health it. Bar status is located at the top center of your HUD. Notice that when your health bar goes down, it will not replenish. Once your health bar is depleted, your Titan is doomed to die shortly. Yeah, once that thing goes down to health, you gotta just bail the heck out of it. You fly up, way up in the air, which is kinda nice. For not dying, that is. Oh yeah, oh yeah, rocket's coming back at you, buddy. Look at him. Boom! Oh, and I missed. Survive. Sorry about that. Prepare for the next wave. Let's actually pick his rocket up here. We'll next try this out for the coming. next wave of Enemy new Titan blitz. Shields online. And there is a bit Use of zoom. Caution. Pretty much all your weapons have a little bit of zoom on them. It's not quite aimed down sights, but it, it is zoom. <laughs> I am most certainly not hitting a darn thing with this little rocket set up here. Noob in action here. This is beta. This is beta noodle. I'm sure by the end of the beta I'll be doing pretty well. 
your titan is critically damaged. Combat veterans refer to this as doom state. So actually, that your titan exit will your titan self destruct. Normally, just exit like doomed. a vehicle in battlefield for you. Hit E, you will have infinite time and that's what I have this bound as. This will Basically, you have to hit E three times, combat. which is you a little bit different. Before your titan goes but actually, I don't mind it because it'll stop you from ejecting accidentally when you accidentally biff the W key and um, have to eject. When you eject, you can use the higher vantage point to plan your next move. This is pretty cool because when you're in midair, you can actually use your like kind of Excellent. booster your pilot that you have every time you jump complete. to kind of point you in the correct direction of whatever you where you want to go. And that's all for the simulator, guys. If you'd like to see more Titanfall Royal stuff, Please hit that subscribe button. To I'm going to be uploading stuff constantly throughout this beta. Try to inform you guys who unfortunately didn't get a beta key. And try to help you guys out who did get a beta key. And until next time, my name is Noodle. And always remember, use your Noodle.